What's going on everybody? Phil Rossi here with a quick recap of my Paracon 2024 experience. And I gotta be honest, had to make some notes because I'm not gonna remember everything. But uh, there were some things that I definitely wanted to highlight about what was overall a great experience. I'm gonna try to get through this in five minutes, but we'll see because there's just so much incredible stuff to talk about. So first of all, for anyone that attended Paracon 2023, then you might remember the little bit of logistical chaos that was going down. All problems solved this year, at least from our perspective, we were able to get right in and park and then breeze right through the VIP line and get right into the, uh, right into Penhurst, right into the convention and with no stress. And that made all the world a difference. In spite of the fact that it was raining that first day, which only added to the ambiance, but the energy level and the energy overall was very positive, and I think that had a lot to do with people being able to get right in. And it was it was nice. It was nice to not have to worry about logistics and to just be able to absorb the incredible environment and the enthusiasm. But if I had to pick my favorite thing about the weekend, it was that not only were T and I able to attend, but we attended with our families as well. Pip was there, Tina joined us along with the girls, and it just really added to the experience to be able to share the event with the people we love. Okay, highlights. Gonna burn down these quick. Right off the bat, at long last, I got to meet the King of Cool, the punk rock, paranormal investigator, researcher, and just overall weirdo, John L. Tenney. It was great to have a few moments to chat with him, to shake his hand, and he is just as cool and suave and collected in real life as he is on the screen. So that was great. Hope to have the opportunity to chat with John more in the future because I just want to pick his brain because he's got some of, just some of the coolest ideas. Jessica Chobot was there. Had no idea. This was another unexpected surprise. I got to spend a few minutes chatting with her, got an autograph, took a photo with her, blacked out a little bit. I was so excited to meet her, but she's down to earth, genuine, just like she appears on Expedition X. So that was a win. And that was even before any of the panels began. A quick breakdown on the panels and the meet and greets, Ghost Brothers. Charming as hell, charming as you'd expect them to be. It was great to see them riff off one another and talk about some of their favorite experiences and take questions from the crowd. But honestly, I mean, they didn't even need questions from the audience. They could have just taken the ball and run with it. The guys were brilliant on that panel, and I hope to catch them at future cons because it was just a, it was just a lot of fun, insightful, Interesting information and great stories uh, told just in a very genuine way. And when we met them for the meet and greet, that all added up as well. They were genuine, down to earth, funny, maybe a little too charming with the ladies, our ladies, that, <laughs> that is. But hey, overall, great group of guys, great group of investigators, and I hope that we get to see some big things from them this year. Kindred spirits, Amy and Adam, what else can I say? My love for them and what they do continues. I love seeing them on panels. I think they are great panelists. Their energy with each other is just is is, is great. Uh, they have that. They have that, that chemistry, but they they draw you into that chemistry. It makes you feel like you are part of their part of their team. Loved hearing their stories as always. Loved Adam's dramatic interpretations of some of the more intense moments of their investigations and it just overall. Both of them are just so funny and so fun on the panels. And then with the meet and greet, just cordial, warm. Uh, they don't make you feel like you're rushed. It was amazing to see the girls get to meet them as they are big fans of Kindred Spirits and of Amy and of Adam. Uh, Tina and Adam spent some time swapping DIY stories and pet pictures. So it was it was a pretty, uh, it, was a, it was a nice meet and greet. Ghost Hunters. Ghost Hunters, the paranormal royalty. <laughs> the panel was nuts. It was the panel was nuts. It was a lot of fun. Maybe a little bit at T's expense. Maybe a little bit at Jason's expense. First off, one, this is close to third thing to you. So I can now say, after you commented on my YouTube, you are still keeping it stacked, jacked, and packed. <laughs> That's not the question, but. <laughs> 
I thought I meant to say to your face, man. Start, shut, and out! Okay. I'm part of the 50s club. I'm just, uh, I'm just stuck. Do we need security? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm surfing YouTube one day, going down this rabbit hole of YouTube, and I see the video talking about taps and everything else, and I turn it on, I start watching it, and like eight minutes, twelve in, the guy's like, I saw Jason the Penners, and he is like, whoa, he's like that. And so I have to say, I'm like, dude, first off, love the video, but you made me blush from like eight minutes to nine minutes. So, anyway, that's it. All right. Jason did not punch T in the face or get him hauled off the property for being a little too friendly. <laughs> and honestly, T was under his uh, his best behavior, and uh, which we have a little bit of latitude for that. But it just made for some very comical and very just real moments with Jason and with the team. And when we met them at the meet and greet afterwards, they could not have been nicer. They T just wanted to thank them for being great sports with, with the shtick that was going on. But uh, as it turned out, you know, they really, they, they just enjoyed it. They enjoyed the energy. Uh, they, they were just, again, just open, didn't rush us through, had some good conversations, talked shop a little bit, talked about some of our upcoming investigations. Project Fear, Project Fear, Project Fear. You know how I feel about that team. Just a great, great group of kids. Uh, I shouldn't even say kids because they are. They are adults now. They are part of the club. They were as high energy as they were last year, and the crowd just was so pumped to see them. And what I love about seeing Project Fear in front of their in front of their community is they're just they seem genuinely taken aback by one of the just the energy that comes from the crowd and the, the amount of support, they truly seem humbled by it. But to see TV personalities be down to earth, uh, be just real genuine people uh, who are as likable off the screen as they are on the screen is, it's nice to see. So, hey guys, there, I think the camera's over there. Project Fear, don't change a thing. Finally, Chris Williams was there and she gets a separate mention. While she was on the Ghost Hunters panel, we got the opportunity to uh, do a meet and greet with her separately. We had just a, another wonderful conversation. She was a lot of fun to talk to and sounds like she's got some cool stuff coming up in the future. So I'm definitely really looking forward to seeing, uh, seeing what's to come for Chris. The buildings, the property remains haunting and somber and and macabre in its beauty it's an incredible property uh there were some additional buildings that were open this year we did spend a little time doing some light investigating and some strange stuff did happen we'll save that maybe for a five minute paranormal once we have a chance to uh review uh, review what we captured bottom line paracon 2024 for us was a home run and there's nothing better than sharing your passion with the people that you love. So will we be attending Paracon 2025? You better believe it. Although saying 2025, uh, that does sound a little bit scary. All right, that's it. That's my recap of Paracon. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being a part of this community. Uh, if you liked what you saw, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure to give this video a like. Make sure to enable notifications so you know when new content is coming. Check out the member section. We don't have members-only jackets yet, but I can only imagine we get enough members that could certainly happen. And don't forget to check out Don't Turn Around, available on all the podcatchers because a new season is launching on June 6th. So that's Don't Turn Around. Don't forget to check that out as well. Thank you for your support. And with that said, take care, stay safe. We'll see you guys in the field.